I would like to say a few words about uh, the Water Museum Global Network. In a context of a crisis of water availability and degraded aquatic ecosystems worldwide, what can we learn from our rich water heritage to build a more sustainable future? In June 2018, UNESCO's Council of the Intergovernmental Hydraulical Program adopted a resolution to improve water awareness education on a global scale and to make everyone aware of the urgent need for better management of this vital resource. All countries unanimously approved the proposal that was submitted by the Netherlands. Baptized in Paris on the Seine River and nurtured in the waters of the Venice Lagoon, the global network of water museums started to grow all across the world. Today, the global network includes more than 50 museums, associations, and communities, welcoming more than 20 million visitors every year. The global network includes many skilled educators who are inspiring young people to think about innovative ways of protecting and managing water in the future. Solutions that draw on modern technology, but also on the wisdom of our inherited water knowledge. Thanks to water museums, every day thousands of children are learning about the crucial part that both natural and cultural water heritage can play for taking care of our most precious resource. This year, these museums decided together to give a platform for young people to express their own hopes and ideas through a global competition, letting the world know the water they want. So what did they tell us? In spite of the difficult constraints of COVID lockdowns around the world, Young people from the ages of 6 to 18 sent in more than 400 entries, among photographs, drawings, and videos. As well as the water they want, many of these young students claimed also the kind of water they don't want. Younger generations are showing us the way to the new future we must build for the planet and its water. Let's give these ambassadors a chance to express their visions, to protect the natural world, our shared heritage, and the water they deserve. Help us to support these young voices again in 2021. The next round of this youth contest is in your hands. I hope to meet you soon, and I welcome you all to the Global Network on Water Museum.